What's going on, friends? What's happening? Let me see what's uh what's going on in the chat. What is the word? Keita, what's the word? Greetings, my friend. <clears throat> Florida boy, what's the word? Delvin, DJ Troy, what's happening? Good morning, my friend. Kia, good morning. Steven, what's going on, family? Thank you for dropping in. Dale, I appreciate you, my boy Kojak. What up, though? Hey, what's the weather like there back in uh, Michigan? Let me find out real quick. I am going to be back there, so I do need to find out what the weather is. Forty-three degrees with a chance of light rain in the next hour. Oh no, high forty-five. That's crazy. It's eighty-three degrees today here in Miami. It's eighty-one now. Sunny. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. So shout out to my boy Kojak, Heather. What's going on, Chris? I appreciate you for tapping in with me nephew Kenneth what's happening family um let me see what else is happening here Aliquandria what's going on love I listen Florida is absolutely dope what up double R Trish how you doing Trish Nick Chernon we're going to talk about the money today. Good morning, family. It don't seem like it's morning here. It's been, it seems like it's been morning for a while now, so we chilling. I'm sweating. Malachi, Paris, good morning. I want to get to the money. What's good, family? It's cold in a mug, huh? Don't worry, I'll be back. We got some basketball games that we got to go to. Rebecca, Brittany. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Mr. Rucker, I appreciate you. Um, CJ Investing, UK Investor. What's going on, family? What's good, Anton? Was it at all luck? I see y'all coming with the questions early today, huh? Y'all want to get straight to the money talk? I want to get straight to the money talk. Service USA, appreciate the uh, super chat says... Good morning, everyone. 52 degrees here in Texas. It's 81 degrees here. <clears throat> here in Miami. It's absolutely dope. It's absolutely beautiful. Appreciate the super chats. It's raining over in Seattle. This Miami weather is something incredible, bro. Something absolutely incredible. It's Saturday. Yo, did y'all mess up the bag yesterday? I'm curious as to whether or not y'all messed up the bag yesterday. I know Friday was uh, was interesting, right? Saturday is beautiful. Yes, it's 81, Brick. It is 81 degrees here. I feel great. I feel absolutely awesome. Hey, I did a um, <clears throat> Patreon exclusive meetup yesterday right here on the rooftop. Uh, the bar was mine, so all the drinks was free, everything was on me, all the food was on me, everything was absolutely awesome, and we had a vibe up here. Yo, we was here from about 7 p.m. till early in the, in, the, in the night, in the midnight, like, I don't know, 1, 2, something, I don't even remember what time we got up out of here, but it was absolutely a vibe. What's going on, Sharice? Sharice, Sharice. Y'all done fam y'all done fumble no bags yesterday? I see y'all. You went to the strip club now. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, we had such a vibe for the Patreon exclusive meetup yesterday. Shout out to oh man. Rita's over there getting a massage right now. Rita's getting a massage right now. So shout out to everybody. Sharice, how, how you gonna go out of state? Um, I just sent something to your P.O. box. 
I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna fly back today. I'm coming back today. So we just booked our plane tickets. I'm gonna fly back today. Um, I'm gonna live stream tonight, probably on the other channel. So I'm definitely gonna be back today. So listen, listen, listen. Let's get the housekeeping out of the way. And then uh, we gonna get straight to this money talk, all right? I wanna get the housekeeping out of the way. And then we gonna get to the money talk. So I appreciate, yeah, it wasn't in my town. Listen, it's, I didn't even know I was gonna do a Patreon meetup until I got here. And I'm like, you know what, when I get here, I gotta do a Patreon meetup. My next meetup, well, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. First, let me first shout out to all of my, my tribe, my gang. You know, the interesting thing about, well, I get into that in a minute. So shout out to my gang and the Patreon members. I appreciate y'all, first and foremost. Secondly, I want to say, um, yeah, I drop a little bit of the footage. I did a little bit of vlogging yesterday, so I'll probably drop it tomorrow, something like that. I'll probably drop it tomorrow. So uh, first and foremost, let me just give a shout out to my tribe. I love my Patreon members. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. If you decide that you want to be a part of that, that's number one. Number two. Let me also say that, um, hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Number three, make sure you subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the Lapeef Network also. And then last but not least, make sure you subscribe to my other channel, Anton Daniels. Probably, <laughs> yeah, you can join the Patreon now on that. Uh, probably going to live stream on my other channel tonight, so that should be a vibe. Rita's over there getting a massage. Patreon exclusive meetup was in Miami. Like I said, I, the bar was mine, so all drinks on me, whatever you wanted to drink. Um, definitely had the food, had the vibes. Yo, I gave them all of the details, all of the game. I showed them all of the all of the receipts yesterday. Yo, if anybody, let me see something. I don't know if there's anybody in the chat. I know my man uh, Rome. There's a lot of people. I showed them. I showed them one of the one of my accounts i showed him one of my brokerage accounts i tell y'all what i'm not sure if anybody is up early enough that was a part of the patreon exclusive meetup yesterday i pulled it up and i showed him one of my accounts here's here's because i don't know if y'all was paying attention the way that y'all was supposed to can't find you on youtube or google Plus, um if you were a part of the Patreon exclusive meetup yesterday, here's a trivia question. <clears throat> I'm gonna cash app somebody $100. The first person to come up that, that give me a rounded answer, a general rounded answer. Now I go, it don't have to be exact, it's impossible for you to guess it to be exact, right? When I showed you my brokerage account yesterday, and again, I, I can't say it, you know what I'm saying? but. When I showed you one of my accounts yesterday, what was the number? The first person to tell me from the Patreon exclusive meetup what that number was, I'm cash having you $100. All right, so I don't know if any of y'all is up from yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all is up from yesterday, but the first person that I showed you need help negotiating your salary? Yo, that, all right, I got you. First person that I show with my number, that number, I'ma cash app you $100. Dave and Napoleon said, big bro, can't wait till you come down to Canada, Toronto. I will be in Toronto very, very, I don't know, man. It depends on if, like I might have to wait till the weather change, you get cold. Nope, you're wrong. Y'all, Y'all just guessing, y'all are guessing. Y'all are guessing. First person that can guess what the number was that I showed y'all yesterday, not guess. The first person that that was there from the Patreon exclusive meetup that can guess what that number was or that can remember what the number was, I cash app you $100. So I'm going to pay attention to the chat. Nope, all y'all wrong. Wait, uh, let me see. Woo! 
Yeah, keeping it real with JC. See, we had so many combos. So, nope. JC, I can't, I can't believe you that far off. JC, I cannot believe you that far off with the number. <laughs> it was, it was, it was in the M's. See? Listen, when I was telling y'all yesterday, Brittany, I showed him a number. I showed him a number. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, there was some people that's close. It was some people people that was close. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm just checking the chat before we get into the money talk. I can't believe y'all don't remember. Wow. I can't believe y'all don't remember. <laughs> No way, not even close to 300 M's. Not even close. All right, well, we just gonna have to keep it moving. I don't wanna slow the, bro, it's not in the hundreds of millions. It's not, <laughs> I'm not nowhere near that. All right, well, we just gonna have to keep it moving. But it was, it was, uh, you know, the interesting, so, so let me just say this and then we'll get into the show. <laughs> All right. So somebody hit it. Somebody hit it for the person, for the person that hit it. I can't, I'm trying to do this strategically. For the person that know that they hit it, um, you're gonna have to, de I'm gonna reach out to you. I'll reach out to you because I can't, I can't say it on here. I can't say it on here. But I show, I showed everybody. I showed everybody. I showed everybody yesterday. I let them go through my brokerage account and all of that stuff, so. Shame on y'all if y'all don't remember. Y'all was too busy gawking at the number and not actually paying attention to what the number is. But I'm going to reach out. Somebody already hit it, so y'all don't have to keep guessing. But I'm going to send you your cash app. I'm going to reach out to you and send you your cash app. You don't know who hit it, but somebody hit it. Somebody guessed it right. Somebody guessed it right, but I'm going to reach out to y'all and send y'all your cash app. But y'all was so busy. <laughs> hey, hey, why Brittany send me a request for $100 like she hit it? <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are, uh, y'all are insane. Of course I got some good content on the Patreon. What did you think it was? So, all right, listen, let, no, Brittany, I don't even know what your number was. Let me see. Let me see what your Brit number was, Brit. Let me see what Britney's last number that Britney said. And no, you off, Brit. You are off. I'll say it was that your number was low. Your number was low from the number that I showed them. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyways, um, keeping it moving. So let's get to the money, y'all. I feel so good. I feel so phenomenal, guys, because I don't know. It's just something about meeting your tribe and giving them all of the game and the information. Listen, I let them go through my phone. I let them go through my brokerage account. I let them, Rita was here. We talked about relationships, marriage. We talked about money. I met with each person individually and we, you know, I gave them the game on how it is that they could leverage their business. I can't tell you the number on here, bro, because listen, if you meet me in person, then you can see for yourself. But I can't say the number on here be, for, for reasons. If you don't, if you know, you know, that's all we gonna say. Um, but shout out to all of the people that was 
and the Patreon. Yes, uh, my Patreon exclusive meetup yesterday. I appreciate y'all. I love it. I love y'all. And I'm still opening up slots for the people that I said I'm gonna open up slots for, including the people that was here and the people that was uh, the people that wasn't here. I got you, Bucket Man. You just gonna have to be patient. Let me get back in town. I'm gonna fly back in town today, and then we gonna go from there. All right. I gonna talk about it, okay? So let me say this next. My next Patreon meetup is gonna be in Houston. All right. Patreon meetup is gonna be in Houston. My next one. It's gonna be in December. All right. I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be. I don't know. I might do Vegas first, but I'm definitely gonna be in Houston in December. All right. Y'all can see in person in Toronto. I show y'all all my stuff. Listen, the one beautiful thing about me is that I, is that if you rock with me and we a part, you a part of the Patreon. I show you all the receipts. I let them go through my text messages. I let out to the dust mites. <laughs> Life is absolutely phenomenal. So listen, in a more somber moment, I want to get the show started and I want to kick it with y'all. So let's go ahead and get the show started. Hold on. Yeah, if you know, if you know, you know. Shout out to everybody that's making their investments. Yeah, I might do one in Detroit. You never know. I can Hey, okay, look. Before we get into the show. Great meetup yesterday. Totally worth it. Great trap too. Rita is awesome. So you was there. Do you remember what the number is that I showed you? Don't say what the number is. IK, do you remember what I showed you? The numbers that I showed you. That I showed y'all on my phone. I don't know if you remember. Don't say what it is. Just say if you remember or not. Don't tell them the number either. Either. Let's see if you remember. I want to know if you remember or not. I don't want you to say the number. Have I been following the information about the proposed legislation for the GI Bill Restoration Act, which, which, which would repay the families of Black American veterans? No, I'm not familiar with it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check it out. You remember it? Okay. All right, so one more question, and then we're going to get into the show, IK. Because it's a lot of fake millionaires on YouTube, y'all. It's a lot of people faking it until they make it. IK, was the number crazy or no? Was the number crazy or no? Just say that. Don't say what it is. Just tell them if you if the number was crazy, IK. All right, so IK. <laughs> so one more. All right, so we'll let them answer one more question. IK. I made everybody there promise not to talk online. All right, so IK. Um answer this one more question ik for him was it less than or greater than seven million was it less than or greater than seven million you can say that Less than or greater than seven M's, IK. <laughs> Anyways, so life, life is good. Shout out to all of my Patreon members that uh that was rocking with me yesterday. Gene, hold on. I was just walking up when you were showing your phone and missed it. 
<laughs> Shout out to everybody that hold me down, that love me. Listen, it's a lot of fake. It's a lot of fake millionaires on YouTube, everybody. But listen. <laughs> Shout out to my, my tribe. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm giving y'all everything. I'm investing in y'all. I'm loving in, I'm loving on y'all. I rock with y'all. We had a phenomenal time last night. It was absolutely awesome. And uh, we get into the bag, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to continue to run these numbers up. We're going to continue to run the checks up. And we're going to continue to live this phenomenal, broke lifestyle that we live in on a reg regular basis. All right? So let's get to the money, y'all. Before we even get to it, um... Before we even get to it, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about something a little bit more somber, right? So, I know Kojak know because he knows some of the same people that not I know. <laughs> hey, ain't that what they say? Um, it, Look, y'all making me in a happy mood and I got to say something that's a little bit more somber. IK, you can't keep giving out information, bro. If you keep, you got to stop. You got to wrap it up, bro. You got to wrap it up, IK. You can't keep telling them, all right? Please don't keep telling them. We can't, and, and this ain't even got nothing to, honestly, real talk, saying how this don't have nothing to do with showing or whatever. It's certain things I can't show, certain things I can't talk about publicly, and that's why I showed y'all in person. That's why I kicked it with y'all in person, all right? So you can't keep saying stuff. You can't keep giving numbers, whatever. But Kojak, I know you know who I'm talking about when I say that. Um, same age as me, you know, same age as you. We've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of people when it hasn't necessarily um, manifested in a lot of tragedy around us. But, you know, a good friend of mine, you know, people that we know, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. And <laughs> a good friend of ours, a good friend of ours was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. And so when I found that out, or when that news was relayed to me, the first thing that I did was I started praying, right? Because I always wanna, I never wanna see people in their in worst state. I always want people to be super duper successful, all right? And um, stage, listen, I did, I heard about it, bro. I did hear about it, bro. Listen, when I said I'm richer than your favorite rapper, facts, facts. Anyways, um, she was di she is diagnosed with stage four colon cancer and so immediately me and rita prayed for her or whatever but it forced me to start questioning my own my own mortality it really did it forced me to start questioning my own mentality my, my own mortality because a lot of what i say revolves around your purpose and then you leaning on your purpose ultimately manifests itself into you being financially successful it's crazy, bro. It is absolutely crazy. 39 years old, diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, already taking certain steps and stuff like that. And so, you know, the one thing that I was talking about with my Patreon, my Patreon members yesterday during a meetup, and that link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. The one thing that I was talking about was that, you know, I'm so excited every single day y'all i was like a kid in the candy store kicking it with them yesterday they got all of the information all of the game all of the business information they got everything out of me they was like anton how do you be so like how do you be so excited every single day no matter what goes on no matter what the circumstance is no matter what the situation is how are you super duper excited every single freaking day how are you so excited every day and it's just like, yo, tomorrow it could all be over. And you know, with, with the number that I showed everybody and my net worth and all of that, yeah, it would go to the people that, you know, I'm 
that's close to me and all of that, right? But for me, it's the value that you bring, right? When it's all said and done, we all going to the same place. We all gonna go to that, that little dirt on the floor, six feet under. We all just skin and bones and all of that, right? Straight up. And so I gotta leave it on the floor every day because these videos and these live streams that I make from y'all, that I make for y'all, that I talk to y'all about, me investing in people's businesses, me living this life, me exposing my daughter and my wife to certain things, me pushing and, and impacting people in some of the ways that I do in which y'all was there. So a lot of y'all was there yesterday and we had these conversations, right? Real talk. Like that's my true currency. That's why I've always said in my lifetime that life is about experiences, it's not necessarily about stuff. Real talk. Your legacy has to be much greater than your kids. Your legacy has to be much greater than the people that you surround yourself with. Your legacy has to be much greater than the money that you made on this earth. Real talk. That's why I live my life like an open book because it's a documentation of the things that I did and poured into the people that I really cared about. That's the reason why I divest myself from people that may not be going in the direction that I'm going in and I spend more time pouring into the people that I truly value. That's why when I make these videos, I may entertain, I may entertain a troll or two or I might cut some people out or I might, you know, do this or that. But I, I, I try every day to become a better version of myself and to pour more into the people like my Patreon members. Look at Rita, she didn't got her a massage. She, <laughs> that's why I love on my wife the way I do. That's why I love on my, my tribe and my Patreon members. Look, I was hugging on y'all and, and buying y'all food and all of that yesterday because man, life is short. I wanna die empty. I don't wanna take everything that I've learned in my lifetime, what about business and money and character and marriage and all of that stuff. Y'all already bombarded on a regular basis from people that tell y'all all of the wrong things. All of the wrong things, nothing of value every single day. Nothing of value every single day. They, they pour trash into y'all. What's up? Oh, you need your purse? I got you. They pour trash into y'all every single day. So I got to die empty. Somebody got to give you the game. Somebody got to tell you different. Somebody got to pour into you. And so that's the goal. Like some of my OGs, my dad, he poured every single thing that he had into me. It didn't have nothing to do with money. Didn't have nothing to do with resources, but he gave me the blueprint. He gave me the blueprint on how to be successfully married. He gave me the blueprint on how to be successful when it comes to being a man. He gave me the blueprint when it came to spirituality standing firm in a way in which you live leaving it all on the table right right now that's what it's all about so i just want to say prayers up for you baby girl i'm not gonna necessarily say your name <coughs> i'm not gonna say your name but i definitely want to say i love y'all i appreciate y'all and uh you know i love you i absolutely love you i'm praying for you hope everything turns out well whatever that turns out like and um, you know let's just take the learning lessons every single day from the experiences that we have all right so let's get into the real stuff I didn't expect to actually show them yesterday but they somebody asked me and they said Anton I want to see Anton I want you to really show me so you know I pulled out my phone and I showed him a number right I showed him the number because, you know, I was like, skip it, y'all ask. <clears throat> Look, we talked about so much stuff yesterday. I showed him the number, that number. I showed him some of the receipts from the people that I've had wars with on other platforms and talk shows. Because a lot of people was like, Anton, why are you letting people just go on these tours and say stuff about you and all of this type of stuff? <clears throat> I showed him information. <clears throat> from people online that I can absolutely destroy but then I showed them something different and I said listen <clears throat> power don't have nothing to do with whether or not you exercise it power had power is the ability to do something to somebody and you choose not to when you pull back from them that's what true power is power is the ability to expose somebody destroy somebody have a certain type of conversation pull the receipts on them and all that other type of stuff 
and then controlling it and deciding not to because you actually want the best for them. Power is letting people say certain things about you when you don't respond. Real talk. Alex O says, love the channels and the Patreon content, Anton. Please consider DC, Maryland, Virginia meetup. I'm coming everywhere, bro. I'm coming everywhere. But that's what true power really is, right? And I was showing them some of these things. I showed them some of the receipts, had conversations, all that other type of stuff. So the question then becomes, how much does it take to get rich? How much does it take to get rich? Let me check in and see what y'all talking about. How much does it take? What's the number? How much does it take? Is it a number? Is it a mindset? What is it? I appreciate it. How much does it take? How much does it take <clears throat> to consider yourself past that threshold? I want to see what y'all talking about. I'm gonna check in the chat before I before I give you my assessment. Um, let's say I wonder why people feel the need to know somebody's personal info, especially money. It just seems so personal because that's what people are obsessed about. They're obsessed with relationships. They're obsessed with money. They're obsessed with all of that, and so. Things have gotten so far out of whack that I have to show my whole life. I got to show my wife. I got to show the money, all of that other type of stuff, right? Um, in order to try to bring things back to reality. So that's just the nature of people. 15 million, some mindset, not a set number. Hmm. If it was a number, I would assume 5 million, 200K compounded over 20 years tony 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 was there what's up tony <laughs> nothing was off the table hey tony <clears throat> i'm not even gonna ask i'm not even gonna ask you tony tony do you don't say it tony tony don't say it do you remember the number that i showed you last Brittany said $30 an hour for her is simple. Khaled said being rich is 10 million. Delvin said 10 M's. Tony, remember? Shout out to Tony. Tony, you are such one of the most pleasant people in the world. So, so dope so so dope i was it was a pleasure to meet all y'all it was a vibe how did you did you enjoy yourself last night tony tony didn't do too much drinking either last night it's pretty interesting tony didn't do too much drinking for me let's see kayla said for you it's 10 million james said nine m's <laughs> Brittany says she's just trying to get out of debt mindset and 250,000 a year when you get 10 M's, you want 20. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I'm going to break it down for y'all. Miss Jennifer said 5 M's, 25 M's, 10,000 a month, 10 M's, 10 billion liquid. Rita, you late because you was getting that massage over there. Being rich is being able to do what you want when you want. I'm saying character over money. You could have millions and be in debt. Tony said she was here last night. It was amazing. I'm a lightweight. I was bust trying to soak up everything. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you, let me tell you what, what being rich is, in my personal opinion. In my personal opinion. Because you also have to take into consideration a million dollars today is not a million dollars yesterday. A million dollars today is certainly different from what a million dollars yesterday is. 
So here's how much it is. Being rich is once you've permanently, I'm gonna say it again, and then I'm gonna break it all the way down for y'all. Being rich and is when you've permanently bought your time back. When you permanently bought your time back. So let me, let me, let me break it down because some people said being rich isn't about money, right? But see, I say is when you've permanently bought your time back and, and when you use it to change people and or the world around you. Now, let's go back to the lessons that I've been telling y'all for a long time now. What have I always said? You got to be selfish before you're selfless. Can't nobody help nobody that's dusty, dusty. Nobody can help anybody because being rich don't have nothing to do with whether or not you do what you do every single day with your time. Being rich has everything to do with having options to do what you want to do with your time and then you use it to make the people or the world around you a better place. That's what being rich is. Okay, so I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Because A, let's take into consider inflation, right? Chad Ochocinco, again, I read about it. He showed his number to people. I showed my number to my people yesterday. And they say he was at 15 M's, right, in the bank. That 15 million in, in 20 or 30 years, based off of inflation, is not even going to be remotely what it is today. Having a million dollars today and having a million dollars 20 or 30 years ago is completely different. The value of your money is going to continue to go down. And if your money is not working for you, and if you don't understand how money works, it's going to be a completely different conversation, right? Take that into consideration. B, there's a lot of different types of millionaires. It's millionaires that live like broke people, right? They can have two, three, four million dollars in net worth and combined assets between their home, their portfolio, their 401ks, their retirement accounts, real estate, the whole nine yards, right? And a lot of times, especially people that's come from a generation like, uh, if you've ever talked to people a, lot, a long time ago that come from, or their parents was born in depression or something like that, they come from a space where they're, they're grasping on and they're holding on to this money and they don't know how to balance out the lifestyle and truly enjoying it. So they'll die with that net worth being worth two or three or four million dollars when it doesn't necessarily mean anything or they didn't use it to change the world around them. It just gave them a sense of security. There's people that, what is his name? Manny Koshman or something like that, right? Flashy, got a ton of money, crazy, right? real talk there's people that walk around and they live it they truly embrace it but then they don't have any sense of community when it comes to actually making the world a better place it's just a sense of I need this and I need to continue to do this because it gives me a sense of being able to conquer and own the world it's a completely different mindset from the other millionaire that don't even know how to take a vacation when it's time to take a vacation because them having that money is a sense of security and then they're just trying to figure out how it is that they cannot go broke by the end of the time, by the end of their time. It's a lot of different types of millionaires. Real talk. It's some people that became millionaires simply because the way in which their money works is just automatic. They've contributed their money, they've maxed out their retirement, a lot of mil I know millionaires that never made even a hundred over a hundred thousand dollars a year off their regular job. They worked their entire life. Worked their entire life, has a net worth well over two million dollars. And live like a pauper. Live like a pauper. Because they've taken great advice. They don't necessarily understand how money works. They've been comfortable enough to take great advice and they don't ever want to put themselves in a position where they need anything. 
So it's a completely different mindset with them. They became a, a millionaire because their money compounded and they just automatically was uh, a beneficiary of, of sound discipline that they've implemented in, in place, in place, you know, into their lives. It's a lot of different types of millionaires. A lot of them. It's millionaires that like to spend and enjoy their money and they, got, they like to balance, right? It's millionaires that's been millionaires for a long time and so they're, they've normalized just having money, but they don't have to necessarily spend it and have certain experiences in order to feel, fully feel like they're getting a, the enjoyment in their life. It's some people that are hoarding so much money and they're deathly afraid of going broke deathly afraid of going broke and that's the way in which they go about doing things and that's the way they see you know being a millionaire they don't even think about money they don't think about the fact that they are a millionaire they just thinking about the possibility of how they can live the rest of their life granted that they grow to be a hundred years old without ever having to you know how can they not be able to pull down eighty thousand dollars and take care of their daughter that's a grown woman that don't know how to take care of herself. These are rich people problems. This is real life. I know so many different types of these dudes. I grew up meeting these dudes. I knew dudes in a plant that was like 78, almost 80 years old. Dude was an electrician. He was an electrician for a long time. He lived like a pauper. He drove one of the raggediest cars that I've ever, ever seen in my life. When we found out that when he passed away, all of his money wound up going to the church. He didn't even care about the money. It just accumulated it. They so scared of losing it and not being rich anymore. It's people, listen, I've had friends that come on the platform and they say the only thing that they ever fear is the IRS. Deathly afraid of the IRS. It's people that, listen, I know people that know how to make a million dollars without even blinking their eyes, without blinking twice. And then there's other people that understand how money works. How money work. Millionaires on paper don't care nothing about cash. It's other people that <coughs> they go to an extreme in order to wear their money, right? It's not a balance. It's not a balance of just, hey, the finest threads and all of that. They got to get it bust down, iced out. They got to have a thousand different chains on. And listen, if that's what you want to do, I don't care. As long as you made it and you're not doing nothing egregious like using it in order to traffic kids or something like that or poisoning your community with, with drugs or something like that. I don't care, do whatever you wanna do. I don't see the value in busting down a, a watch because I feel like it it lowers the value of the watch and I appreciate the timepiece so much. You know, I actually love these watches. I was breaking down the different watches and how it is that I view things. I, I told them about some of the purchases that I've made while I was down here in Miami and things like that. I appreciate it so much that I would never devalue the watch and I understand what a true appreciating asset is. But again, let's bring it back down to exactly what a millionaire is. When you've bought your time back, doesn't mean that you don't enjoy it, don't mean that you don't work hard and all of that type of stuff, but you don't have to do anything. You've bought your time back. This is what being rich is. You've bought your time back and now you use it to help the people, and I don't mean necessarily giving out money, right? I don't give out money, I invest in people. I want them to learn a lesson that come along with, that come along with making strategic business decisions. I want them to be smarter as a result of it. I want them to understand how money works. Improving the lives of the people in the world around you and using it to change people. It's some people that use it, because I don't mean that necessarily you're doing it positively, right? It's some people that use it to influence the, the culture and political elections. A lot of people have a lot of problems with people like uh, Bill Gates because they feel like that he's literally controlling the world with his finances. <clears throat> Thank you, babe. It's different ways, hey babe. got a flight to catch. I don't need y'all knowing what time my flights are and all of that.
a lot of so j just to go back to answering some of y'all questions a lot of it is a mindset because you can be a millionaire and be one of the worst people's on people on earth look at me it's hot out here it's hot it's it's mid 80s right now you could be a millionaire and live like a pauper you can be a millionaire and get every one of your cards gold plated <laughs> you can't read no lips you can't read no lips you could be a millionaire and get every card gold plated and you need that in order to because you're just a super duper gaudy flashy dudes it's freaking princes in dubai that ride around with tigers and lions in their cars and all that. I was looking at some of them videos, I said that's absolutely insane. <clears throat> I do mine a little bit differently, right? I'm never going broke. If I And if I lost everything today, I'd have it all back tomorrow because I understand how money works. So I try to have that balance. I try to make the world a better place by pouring into people, right? Adding value to people's lives. Doing things that's all, uh, that's going to generate or build future people that also have good character along with it. I don't want to lose my Christianity along the way, and so I gotta emphasize that I'm 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 character first. I'm about doing the work first, understanding that the money come with it. And see, that's the thing: when you really get to a space where you understand how money work, you don't chase money. You chase growth, understanding that money come along with it. It's a completely different mindset. Lee says, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of I need, uh, of need, I think some people might be millionaires, but aren't self-actualized. Interesting. What's going on, Jay Favors? Yeah. I'm catching a flight today. Look, y'all wanna tell my location? Y'all wanna tell where I'm at? I'm cool with that now because I'm catching a flight today, but y'all want to tell all of my business. Jesus. Good grief. Y'all can't be saying all of that. Send me a DM or something. But no, listen, y'all. <clears throat> I didn't want to do no articles today. I wanted to just check in and say, what up, though? I am going to be live streaming on my other channel tonight. That's the expectation. I'm not going to make no promises. Um, but that's the expectation. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, man. Life is absolutely awesome. So listen, they're definitely going to be in Houston next month. I might be in Vegas later on this month or early next month. Um, <laughs> uh, I do read your DMs. I've been DM back and forth with you all the time. <laughs> Y'all insane. I ain't worried about it. You know, it's funny because um, Winwood definitely is a vibe. But I'm not worried about it, Sharice. You know why? <coughs> you know why, Sharice? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you, Sharice. And I told the people last night when we was having a vibe, I said, yo, I have never, ever, ever. Bro, I told everybody I was here. I've been vlogging from here every single day. I told everybody yesterday, I said, in all my years of being visible and online, not once have I ever met anybody that's ever had a problem with me online, and they said it to me in person. Not one time. Not one time have I ever ran into anybody, ever in my entire life. They all, most of them is hiding behind some random avatar most the other bit of them don't give their real name and the other ones never even leave their city all right so it's all it's all online stuff it's people that's typing hard we know who they are dusty dusty's all of that but we don't pay attention to it because the numbers are so crazy that we just up and we just live it all right i agree shout out to everybody that tapped in with me yesterday Shout out to everybody that was uh, that's a part of the Patreon. The link is in the description. I'm dropping a Patreon exclusive video tomorrow morning. Patreon exclusive video tomorrow morning, y'all. Let me see. Except the dude's in the bathroom. He wasn't tripping. 
I was just trying to understand why he wanted a flick in the bathroom. And so I had to turn him down in the bathroom. I said, I'll take one when you get out. And he was like, oh man, you a whole nother conversation. When am I coming to Toronto? When it warms back up. And then I'm up there in Toronto. See, they opened the borders now. It don't take nothing but a passport and a couple jabs to get over there. I got both of them, so I might as well take advantage of them. But I'm definitely gonna be up in Toronto. I'm gonna just let y'all know city by city. And then, um, <coughs> and then um, after that, we gonna, um, all of my meetups is gonna be posted on the Patreon. So where we link up at, where we kick it up at, it's all gonna be posted up for Patreon exclusive anyway. So if y'all part of the Patreon, make sure y'all jump into the Discord. That link is in the Patreon. Make sure y'all take advantage of all the videos. Patreon exclusive video going up tomorrow. I'm going to record it specifically in my studio and then kick it with y'all and break down exactly what I want y'all to know from a financial perspective. It's definitely a money video. It's definitely a video that you can tap into and we can get to it. All right? Okay? All right, so listen. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to talk about that too in the Patreon too. I'm going to talk about that too because a lot of y'all like to hurry up and max out before the end of the year. And what happens is you, you lose your match. We'll talk about it later. Make sure y'all jump into Patreon. Um, make, we'll talk about the LaPeef show tonight. We're going to get into some real, real talk tonight. We're going to talk about relationships, sex, all of that. We're going to really get into it tonight. So make sure that y'all uh, tune into my other channel. Tap in. We're going to be live streaming tonight. Me, Rita. Everybody that want to jump on the paddle and have a conversation, y'all going to come up. <coughs> we going to get to this money talk, all right? Definitely about to check out. I'm about to go probably get in the pool for a little bit of something. I don't know. Got a flight to catch today. About to go catch some vibes, get a little bit more sun before we head back to the to Michigan. I got some games that I want to go to tomorrow. I mean, this upcoming week. I know we got the Golden State Warriors. We're going to be four seats for that. I think I got some free time on Monday, too, so I might be at the game, at the Pistons game then, too. So I don't know. I'm going to be at the games all week, so shout out to y'all. Uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Tomorrow, we're doing a pre-live stream for Patreon members, and we live streaming at around 3 o'clock, I believe. And then also, probably between today, this afternoon, and tomorrow, I'm going to be reaching out to some of y'all for a seat at the table. All right? So if you're part of the Patreon, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for rocking with me. Hopefully, y'all enjoy y'all day. Enjoy y'all weekend. Do not fumble the bag. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.